these two. <laughs> How gorgeous are they? This is a photo of Billy and Mr Green. How does this photo make you feel? And does this photo convey a story to you? For me, this story conveys a photo of connection, companionship and unconditional love. It shows a cherished pet and this magical thing we call the human-animal bond. And it is the magic of the human-animal bond and its ability to transform human lives that brings me here with you tonight. I am a social-hearted vet. That means I really, really love pets, really love them, and I really, really love their people too. Enabling the benefits of healthy companion pets and a thriving human-animal bond to be accessible to all people is actually the reason I get out of bed each day. It's kind of my purpose. I am here for you and for every human who loves their pet. I am particularly dedicated to supporting people experiencing vulnerability with the care of their pets. And what I mean by that is the elderly, people living with disability, those experiencing mental health crisis, people fleeing domestic violence and facing insecure housing. And that is a rising issue. This is Toby, another gorgeous pet. I have a really nice topic because we can have cute pet photos. Um, he is the very cherished pet of Kathy. She's in her late 50s. She's the sole carer of her non-verbal autistic son, Jack. She lives on a pension has limited family support, suffers anxiety and depression, and revolves her days around Jack's complex care needs. Kathy has told me many times that Toby is the reason that she can keep going. His affection, his companionship, and in particular those special cuddles late at night when Jack is finally asleep, sustain her. Through our groundbreaking veterinary social work service at Cherished Pets, we have created Team Toby to ensure that Toby and Kathy can access the care they need. So who is Team Toby? We have Elise, our amazing veterinary social worker. She's qualified, professional and kind, and her role is to manage his care plan, including funding. We have our very cheerful community vet nurse Glenda who visits them monthly. She loves to have a chat and she bakes the best scones in Australia which has actually proven to be a really nice fundraising thing for cherished pets at times. Anyway, pardon? For, for people, with pets and people. Um, our dedicated volunteer Michelle who walks Toby a couple of times a week and transfers him to the vet and the groomer when the need arises. We have Toby's vet team, who are the gang on the ground back at our vet clinic in Ocean Grove, working so hard for our social purpose. And Toby is able to access our vet clinic and also our partner vet hospital. His very gentle and kind groomer, Leanne. And of course, Kathy, who is Toby's number one human. And because of our service, she is empowered to make choices around his care. Our veterinary social work service is the first of its kind in our country and we're very proud of that. We are bridging the gap between animal health services and human health services. Socially, social inequity is on the rise in Australia and Kathy and Toby are not the only ones who are struggling to care for their pets. There's the pensioner who's living on two minute noodles so that he can save up for an expensive prescription diet for his cat. The young woman living on the streets, her little Jack Russell, her protector and her comfort. The mother and her children who choose to remain in an unsafe household rather than leave their pets behind. The 60 year old divorced retiree with very limited super unable to find housing and choosing to live in her car rather than surrender her dogs. All of those examples represent real life people that we have helped.
When people face vulnerability, their capacity to care for their pet can be compromised. And in the face of this, a very cherished pet can be badly neglected. And I have witnessed some terrible neglect, unintentional. We all know that it's not from a lack of love, it's from a lack of capacity. Cherished pets exist to solve this problem and the repercussions through our community are massive. We build capability in people to enjoy healthy pets. We all know that pets are good for our health and science is backing us on that one. Do you know how many more pets there are in Australia compared to the beginning of the pandemic? There are one million more pets in our country. That's a lot of pets. Accessibility to pet care and veterinary services is a community issue. As pet ownership increases, so does the pet affordability crisis. And as social disadvantage rises, so does the need for home pet care assistance, funding support and crisis pet care. We do all of that. Recently, Kathy needed help in a crisis. She reached out to me after hours because Toby was very unwell. Our beneficiaries are always prioritised to receive our service so that we are there with them when they need it the most. We activated Team Toby with a home visit and, an, and the emergency care plan. We are with them both, holding hands, hearts and paws through all life's phases. Cherished Pets needs you to help us help more pets and people like Toby and Kathy. With your help tonight, we are ready to scale our service nationally by developing our resources and our outreach across the veterinary and health services sector. It's a big job. To keep pets healthy and well and together with their humans for as long as possible. For every $100, you can provide a monthly community vet nurse visit, complete with some scones from Glenda. $4,000 provides a comprehensive home pet care package for a beneficiary and their pet for one year. $60,000 is a solid investment to secure a sustainable vet social work service nationally. And that is my mission. So imagine for a minute a community where those with the resources, like us, are supporting those who need generosity through vulnerable, sorry, sorry, where those with the resources like us are supporting those who need our generosity through vulnerable times. Imagine the peace of mind you would feel knowing that your cherished pet could remain healthy and well and together with you through it all. That is why I'm asking you to support cherished pets. As Kathy tells me so often, the peace of mind that I have in knowing that you are there for us through it all is worth more than anything. Thank you. Uh, the total was $66,800. Would you like to say any words? Do you have your microphone still on? I've got my microphone on. Oh, great. That's amazing. Thank you so much. As I said in my pitch, 60000 was the dream to invest in scaling our service and just so grateful to AMP Foundation. The Tomorrow Makers experience has been a game changer for us and then for the funding network to select me for this second round of funding is just like the dream and special thanks to Rob, our pitch coach, who's like our favourite uncle now. <laughs> and I've just loved working with Beck and Bronwyn and we were just agreeing in the green room that we're just going to stick together and support each other as founders. So thank you so much. Thank you. And the sunlight hurts my eyes.